Scarlowy the Brave. Scarlowy the Brave. Scarlowy loves to puff through the hills on the island of Sodor. favorite place is a pretty village high up in the mountains. And it's But in the winter, the mountain village gets very cold. So it's important that the engines deliver coal to the village. The houses must be cozy and warm. One morning, Reneus was delivering his empty freight cars to the incline. The winch brings empty cars up the incline and lowers full cars down to be delivered to the villages across the island. Reneus was frightened of the incline. It was very high. So Reneus shunted his cars into place. And then he backed away quickly. You are such a scaredy engine, laughed Scarloe. I'm not scared of anything. Scarloe thought he was the bravest engine in the world. But then, the witch's coupling broke. Oh no! Scarloe steamed away as fast as he could. Scarloe raced right past Thomas, who was waiting on the main line. Scarloe switched tracks, and the cars rolled right past him. But they were heading straight for Rusty. Rusty hooted loudly to the signalman, who changed the points. Read all about it. Oh, says Soon the narrow gauge controller, Mr. Percival, arrived. Well done, Rusty, Mr. Percival said. You are a really brave engine. Thank you, sir, said Rusty proudly. But Scarloe wasn't happy. I want to be the bravest, of Scarloe. I want to show everyone that I'm the bravest engine of all. Keep off the tracks. F says the next day, Scarloe was shunting freight cars onto the incline. How can I prove I'm the bravest? He puffed to himself. Suddenly, Scarloe had an idea. If I went up the hill on the witch, he puffed, then everyone will see how brave I am. The witch hooked onto Scarloe's freight car couple. Scarloe was still coupled up, but he didn't tell the work. Slowly, Scarloe was pulled up the hill. When Reneus and Duncan arrived at the bottom of the incline, they gasped. Look where Scarloe is, puffed Reneus. That is the bravest thing to do, chuffed Duncan. Duncan cheered and Reneus blew his whistle. Scarloe felt prouder than ever. Look at me! Look at me! He puffed. At last, Scarloe reached the top of the incline. I'm the bravest engine in all the world! He called. But Scarloe was too heavy and the winch broke. Whee! Puffed Scarloe as he raced down the hill. But when he got to the bottom, he couldn't stop. Scarloe raced all the way to the transfer yards. He raced past the very surprised Thomas and straight into the snowbank. Mr. Percival was very cross. Scarloe, you have broken the winch, he said. The mountain village will get no coal today, and it's very cold. Scarloe felt very bad. Let's play again. We are at the, the home. village won't be cozy exit. and warm, of Scarlow and sadly. And it's all by See four. Wow, you're so smart. 
Suddenly, Scarlowy had an idea. There's only one thing to do, he thought. I will have to collect the coal myself. Wow, you're so smart. Our last stop is the museum. Scarlowy arrived at the top of the incline and found Renee's and Duncan had brought the supplies to repair the winch. Wow. Are you going so to take smart. the freight cars down the incline without the winch? Bye. asked Duncan excitedly. That would be really brave, chuffed Renee's. Scarlowy wanted to show Renee's and Duncan how brave he was, but then he thought of the mountain village. No, said Scarlowy firmly, I'm going to take the coal to the village. So he puffed slowly and carefully back down the steep track. No one was there to see him working hard. No one cheered or blew their whistles. But it didn't matter. What mattered was getting the coal to the village. It was late when Scaloe arrived at the village station. The villagers were very pleased to see Scaloe, and they were pleased to have coal to make their homes cozy and warm. They cheered and cheered and cheered. Scaloe was so proud it made his axles tingle. This is much better than showing everyone how brave I am, he puffed. And it certainly was.